am so delighted to welcome you all for today's wonderful session of vitamins. You might be hearing from various callers, eat this, don't eat that, this is junk, go for fresh foods and so many other things. Am I right? So imagine as if a friend of yours walked in your house and is inviting you for games. He wants to call you out for games. Whereas you call him and moreover both of you sat on the dining table and you offered him something to eat. On your dining table, your mother has kept, there, there are so many biscuits lying, a lot of junk was also lying there and at the same time, your mother being a very careful and very caring mom has kept a lot of fruits also for you. You could see here, all these fruits are kept by your mom for you to consume. Because she is genius, she is very caring, she wants you to consume the fruits, right? Now, your friend boxing, it's so much tempted by all the junk. Because it's delicious, it's tasty, it's very tempting. So he sat and he ate all the junk food nicely okay and after that he want he what was he doing you know he was lying down on your sofa he was feeling little lazy and he wanted to take a nap probably whereas you ate all the fresh fruits and then you are feeling little fresh little energetic you are just willing to go for games you are compelling your friend, come let's go, why are you lying down, what's wrong with you? And he is like, wait for some time, let me take a nap. What had actually happened with your friend? You might be wondering, that how come that food that tastes so good, so delicious, how come that food could be so bad for our health? So, children. You might have seen right now the way your friend after eating junk is lying, just lying on the sofa and does, he does, doesn't have the capability, the energy to go out and play with you for games. He wanted to take a nap. Why is it so? This junk will not provide you any nutritive value. It will just fill your tummy. You will feel as if you are filled and whereas there is no nutritive value, you will be getting out of it, right? Now, when you ate all these fruits, you consume vitamins. What are these vitamins now? Why do we need it? Where from we get those vitamins and why is it so important for our health? Now, vitamins, if you see children, they are made up of two words, vital and amino. And if you see these vitamins, the way your word is made up of so many alphabets, in the same way, vitamins are the building blocks of our life. Okay? We need to, we need to produce, uh, we just cannot produce in our body like plants, like algae, fungi and all the plants. They can make vitamins in their, in their body, but we cannot. Our body needs vitamins for proper functioning but cannot make it, cannot produce it, it does not produce vitamin at all. So we need to consume these vitamins, we require it in little amount, but it is required for our growth, it is required for the uh, repairing of our tissues, they are just like the maintenance workers in our body, okay. So if you see the vitamins in total, it is, we are, you have 13 types of vitamins, whereas all these vitamins are divided into two groups. One is water soluble and the other one is fat soluble. When I say water soluble, I mean to say they are hydrophilic or you could say that they are water loving. They can be easily dissolved in water. They can be soluble in water like you have vitamin B and vitamin C. When we talk about vitamin B, it provides you energy, it uh, makes your RBC, it's, uh, uh, you have vitamin B1, you have vitamin B2, vitamin B3, vitamin B5, vitamin B6, vitamin B7, 
vitamin B9 and vitamin B12. If you see all these vitamins, all are soluble in water except vitamin B9 and B12. And they are very much required for proper functioning of the nerves, proper functioning of the brain as well. And whereas when it comes to vitamin C, it stands alone. It's required for your tissue growth, for the repair of the cells of the body, right? These vitamins, when I'm talking about the water-soluble vitamins, since they dissolve in water, they go to your uh, gut, they go to your intestine. From intestine, they move to your blood. They are taken to your kidneys and the extra whatever you have in your body, you flush it out. Okay, so these water soluble vitamins are not stored in your body at all. Now, we need to consume these vitamins almost every day in our food. When I'm talking about vitamin C, you get ample from lemon as well. It is rich in vitamin C. So, make it a point that you take at least one lemon every day. Okay, for proper functioning of your body because extra whatsoever is there, you will flush it out and nothing is going to store in your body for future. Whereas, when we talk about fat soluble vitamins, these vitamins are hydrophobic. <clears throat> hydrophobic here means what? <coughs> they are not uh, water loving, okay? They will not, they have no friendship with water. <coughs> now, Fat soluble vitamins are vitamin E, vitamin K, vitamin A and vitamin D. These vitamins, when we are talking, uh, these all these vitamins, they store in your body in the form of fat and you could use it in future. Okay. Now, when we are seeing these vitamins, when we see vitamin A, it is good for your vision and you will find it in carrot, in grape. Uh, I do have grapes for you, uh, which is again rich in vitamin A, okay? Now, when we see vitamin B, you'll get energy out of it. It's required for your um, nervous function, <clears throat> for your brain as well. Vitamin C, uh, it boosts your immune system. It, uh, it's found in oranges, it's found in kiwi, uh, then uh, comes to, we come down to vitamin D, whereas it is required for absorption of calcium. If you have ample of vitamin D in your body, then only calcium you can absorb. Otherwise, you will have uh, a poor bone. Okay, uh, you won't be having a healthy bone then. It's very much required for bone development. You get it by sun, exposure to sun. You have to sit in sun in order to get this vitamin. You will get it by from milk as well. Mushrooms also give us vitamin D3. And even cheese provide us vitamin D. Vitamin D is very essential for, uh, for our bones, for our teeth. Okay, if you have healthy bones, you have a very good blood flowing in your body and then probably you will feel energetic as well. But vitamin D is very, very important. Without this vitamin, calcium cannot be absorbed in your body. Fine. Now, what's this? If you have deficiency of vitamin A, if you have less vitamin A in your body, you may land into night blindness. Okay, now vitamin B. If you have deficiency of vitamin B1 exactly over here, it's usually found in the sailors, those who go for a long journey without proper nutrition, without proper diet. Okay, so when it comes to vitamin B1, uh, it leads to the disease known as beriberi. What is this beriberi all about? These sailors, they face certain problems, right? Swelling in the lower leg, numbness in the lower leg, they at times get a tingling sensation as well and uh, as if they cannot uh, feel only anything, right? Uh, these sailors, they have the tendency of mental confusion while sleeping. These people were getting up very often, they were not having a sound sleep. So, so many problems they were facing in order uh, as they were having the deficiency of vitamin B1, right? When we see vitamin C, 
vitamin C over here. Here I am talking about 19th century of the poor people, those who were just surviving on white rice, those who were only eating white rice. Now these sailors, when they were eating only white rice, they were deficient of vitamin C and then they were having bleeding gums, their gums were swollen gum started bleeding and the teeth also started falling one by one okay they had the teeth fall and if when it is an acute case they even land into death as well whereas the people those who were rich those who were wealthy those who were following the western style of balanced diet those who were eating meat those who were eating fish chicken green vegetables as well they were healthy people and they did not face any problem like that okay so what does it prove over here one thing more i want to tell you that is see what do i have here this is watermelon Whereas this watermelon is rich in vitamin A, it is rich in vitamin B, it is rich in vitamin C as well. So, we all should consume watermelon. Next, you have, I have an apple over here for you, which is again rich in vitamin A, B1, B2, B6. Okay, we have mango which is known as the powerhouse of vitamins. So many vitamins are there in it. Fine. Now, it's very essential to take all these vitamins and if there's any deficiency, then you may land in some or the other diseases. All these vitamins perform different, different functions and all these vitamins are very, very essential for our body. We need it in small amount as vitamins are essential nutrients needed by our body in small amount for growth, development, normal functioning and they are just like the maintenance workers in our body. Very, very essential. Now, in the, uh, these vitamins we have to consume in small quantity for the proper functioning of our body, right? In the previous module, we talked about protein. So proteins were the bodybuilding food. Now let's see what all food item has protein in it. Give me a minute. I brought few things for you all. So we'll conduct an experiment. Here I have taken milk. I have taken milk. I have taken pulse or dal. Okay. And I do have a copper sulfate uh, solution over here. I made a solution of it and I'll be showing you right now. So, here you see I have four test tubes. I've taken a test tube stain. In one test tube, I have put milk. Okay. Another one, I've taken a sample of pulse dal. Next test tube. I have taken a solution of sodium hydroxide and this test tube I have taken copper sulfate solution. Okay. Now what we will be doing is, you can even use a dropper. I will take milk. First let us try with milk. I will take milk. I will put little copper sulfate solution in it. Let's see what happens. And then I'll pour little sodium hydroxide solution. Look. Let's wait for a while. Has it turned violet? So the violet color indicates the presence of protein in milk. Okay, you could very well see the violet color over here. Now let's try with the pearls also. We say pulse is very rich in protein. Again, I'll be pouring little copper sulfate solution. And then, I'll be pouring sodium hydroxide. Let's see what happens. Look. Could you see a uh, violet color over here? So even pulse is rich in protein. Let it be pulse or milk, uh, you could see both are rich in protein or you could say both are bodybuilding food, right? 
So do not forget to consume it. Even if you don't like it, take little pearls, but uh, make it a habit that you are going to take every day in your meals. Okay? Goodbye. See you in the next module. Thank you.